This is Mario with MIA Microflight, and I'm about to fly this uh, Movila 7 that has been fitted with a MIA Microflight Tough Micro Racing FPP frame. You can see here the uh, look of the frame. It has these uh, rings. These are very tough rings, thus the name Tough which also stems from the original MIA Microflight Tough uh, landing gear, Tough frames, and all the other upgrades and products that we used to do back in uh, the early uh, 2000s. So I have uh, reintroduced those components in a frame for these micro or tiny whoop size uh, um, quadcopters or drones. Some people like to call them drone drones. I prefer to call these micro quadcopters because they are rated control hobby grade you know they're slightly better than a toy but it's certainly not a drone that can uh, spy with precision or they can uh, uh, destroy things <laughs> so I prefer to call them quadcopters so I'm about to do a flight but I wanted to capture this video and uh, just kind of show you what this looks like in the palm of my hand here you can see the frame I just finished this and this is uh, after so many iterations that I've been uh, doing with these 3D printed frames just trying to obtain a frame that was uh, not, not only lightweight but durable as well as uh, simple and elegant so this frame pretty much answers uh, all those things that I've been after and if you've seen some of the frames that I've been doing in some of my previous videos you can um, you know, you can see the difference in how this has uh, evolved into what it is right now. But the uh, the trick was to go back to my roots, you know, with these parts that I used to make for my tough uh, uh, frames and tough landing gear that I used to make for the blade line of uh, helicopters, beginning with our own before there was any blade helicopters available or any of the Wakera or any of the micro helicopters. You know, when I used to make my own helicopters, I, and I used to offer them for sale as kits. So, I decided to reintroduce some of those parts because they work so well. And it's something that I should have done at the beginning, but me and my nature, I'm just uh, trying to play with uh, different designs, a the printed frame, a uh, fully 3D printed frame, but it, it just this does, not, does not work. A, and any anybody that's on a 3D printed frame can attest to that. You, know, you can make a frame, you can make the guards, but they will not be as durable as this particular model is right here. And so I'm comparing this with my own 3D printed frames, and even with the original Mobila, which is uh, injection molded out of a polypropylene, polyethylene material, which is also very durable, and that's the reason why those frames are they can withstand. Uh, quite a bit of abuse, but eventually they break. You, you will not break these rings. I am 200% sure on that, and that is the reason why I'm doing this video and showing this in my in this video, and also some of the photographs and other um, videos that I'm including in my YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram channels. So this is the frame. This frame is uh, done in four parts. You have the battery strap which is also a 3d printed part it's done in a flex material so that it allows you to install not only these batteries the single cells the skinny ones or you can use these wider ones which are 450 uh, milliamp hours these are 300 250 milliamp hours so you can install two of those or one of these and that's what that strap is for very simple underslung strap there you can see the frame here and this sort of webbing that I have over the arms is a type of webbing that uh, we're also including with the frame so that you can secure better the wires that run from the motors to the flight controller and that's done it's part of the frame the frame has uh, uh, provisions for the uh, for, for routing the wires to the flight controller you can see the rings are very elegant they don't have any supports they don't need to because the 3d printed uh, canopy itself supports the ring so it is not it's very very durable if you hit this crash up against something you will not break these rings 
and they do provide a higher level of protection than the stock frames or any other frame that I that I can think of provides you know for the for these tiny whoop size uh, micro drones or quadcopters so this is the MIA tough micro FEB racing frame for the Mobila 7 or some other tiny whoop size electronics the camera has its own case independent of the canopy which uh, houses the, the rings the base which uh, houses the motors and the battery strap so you have one two three four components as part of this complete frame now if we separate the rings this, the rings it can come apart uh, if you need to replace them you know you can add another four parts to that so it's a complete kit and you can simply and easily transfer all the electronics and the camera over from your Mobila 7 stack to this one you have a setup that is uh, at least five to ten times much much better stay tuned for the flight video this is Mario with MIA Flight thank you for watching